What is this? I don't know. Looks like we're rested, fed, warm enough. I presume that maybe this is going to open up a door. I, I don't know. Part of Shadow of the Colossus is like figuring out what's going on in the world. Keep sliding down. What's going on with the story and in the world? It doesn't explain everything. Do we get something else too? Seed of life, a faint glow emits from this rare seed. When consumed, a surge of energy can be felt. Worth looking around to see if we can find more stuff. Since we are gonna have to survive in this harsh world. I wonder. Can we go down there? Let's uh, do a save. <laughs> Let's see if we can see if we can go down there. It looks like death, guys. It looks like death. I love exploring, though. I don't think I'm supposed to be down here. <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't think this is... I don't think there's anything down here, guys. But this is how you find the secrets. You explore in the corners. Don't seem obvious. I don't know how I'm going to get back up. <laughs> now, let's see what happens when we die. I assume we're just going to get taken back to there. Did we lose anything? No, okay. Nothing lost but some time, but we learned. Nice if we could craft some warmer gear. <laughs> Nothing over here either. You can tell that the jumping is more about like grabbing on to ledges. Or grabbing onto the gods. I suppose we'll call them the gods until we figure out a different name. Glide while in air using a sailcloth. Oh, you have to hit the button again. Cool. And what's this? Just a light? It kind of looks like that same power that was coming from the, the gods. Inside the bell, I guess. 
There's arrows too. Okay. Makes sense. There was <laughs> there was a bow and arrow that I didn't notice. Able to pierce flesh and most armor. When aimed or shot into fire, they ignite into a flaming arrow. Using melee weapons. Huh. So I wonder if there's enemies aside from the gods that we're going to have to deal with. Attack is X. Unequip weapon is X. That's interesting. It's the same button. <laughs> Unequip is the same as attack. Yeah. Ah, left is the bow, I guess. I'm, I'm just hitting right on the D-pad to unequip. Some more arrows up here. So one thing about making a game where you can climb all over the place, you gotta take that into account. Okay. Left trigger hold to lock on. Toggle right and left, okay. So there are enemies. Oh, it's these things. Some of these frozen peoples our enemies. It's like it kind of tracks onto tracks onto them if you're close. That one have a bow? Oh, look at the look at the uh prince you leave in the ground. That's cool. That's really cool. That's well done. I know I know there's been a lot of games, but this this is a pretty small game. So that attention to detail is neat. And it looks like it's full body as well. A flying carpet, nice. See yeah, look at that, even the Even the crate is depressed. That's neat. I appreciate that. Wood club, blunt wood weapon uh, that when lit on fire becomes a torch. I wonder if it takes damage if you light it on fire. Green elixir, crushed mushrooms and spices strained into a juice. When consumed, one stamina will quickly be regained. We're actually getting hungry. And we got the sailcloth, a unique solution to travel. Not that unique. It was in Breath of the Wild. No, just kidding. Actually, this game has been in development for a long time. I wonder... I can't remember if it started development before Breath of the Wild or not. A grappling hook. Sturdy hooks dig into stone surfaces, pulling the user to their target. Also be used to pick up hard to reach items. So the same thing. Except sturdy. Uh, I see. So the icon in the bottom right shows the durability. And the wood club is about to be destroyed. Clothes don't have durability, but there's a star level. Uh, that must mean unequip. Looks like there's a plus there too. No, it's not unequip. So if I, I assume I can just whack these. I can, but... Oh, okay, it does do damage. Wait, did I see... Those rags? I guess it's a basic material? Yeah, so it says two out of three there in the top left. If I want to upgrade. 
So we don't craft new stuff, it looks like. Maybe we just upgrade our old stuff. There's our bow. Uh, right trigger to aim shoot. Okay. See if I can use it on these guys. It's a pretty, um, <laughs> pretty wide range. Maybe it's because it's just a crude bow. Tough to draw back, but it will take down an enemy if your aim is true. Two cred bows. Is there a benefit to attacking these creatures? Aside from maybe some equipment that they draw. It doesn't look like it. You don't get experience or anything. I don't want to waste the durability. Okay, they're just sitting there. Oh, they're crying. Oh, they will attack me, though. Looks like we can just lead them be. Let's try popping up here, see if there's anything. It looks like I can go all the way up. Look. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, point of interest. Okay, so if I'm aimed over here and I hit left shoulder button, it'll look towards um, a point of interest. Cool. Look at this. That's where we're headed next. Oh, I think maybe this is... Okay, I think this is the way forward. And if I fall in the snow... I do take damage, okay. <laughs> I, was, I figured if I fell into the snow, I wouldn't take any damage, but I was wrong. This is probably just gonna, an overlook of the whole world, right? I think I could jump that. No, I'm not gonna go down there and run all the way around. I've learned my lesson. I wonder where we came from. We got dragged into here, right? Okay, let's head out. Our next, this is the way we got dragged through though, which is interesting. Oh, I didn't take a look at this. What am I talking about? the map of this area. I see, and that's where we were before. Okay. Hmm. So, those two are lit, but this one isn't. When you're not sure what to do, just attack. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. This would be below the where that cauldron fountain bowl thing was.
There was a time when mortals feared to walk these sacred lands. And now here you are, seeking our help. Do you know who we are? Over the ages, we sisters have been given many names. Oracle, demigod, prophet, witch, Norn. Norn. We once could see the destinies of this world. We would weep for how far this world has fallen had we eyes. If you're here to save your world, to end the blight and all the suffering, you are too late. This world is already lost to you. Many have arrived before with their pride, their swords, and their righteousness. We answered their prayers, and in return, they twisted our truths and punished us. Leaving all of us to wither in this purgatory until now. Interesting, so this is why you are here. We too have experienced great loss, though we cannot hide our grief. You wear yours well, mortal. Understand that we cannot bring back what you lost. However, however, there may be a way to answer your prayers. The ritual you have begun is the first step. But be warned this path will require sacrifice. Many sigils remain lodged deep in the blasphemies that still that stock this land. Find them and release them. Only then can order be restored from the chaos and a new world live. Ring the bells. I'm not sure if it's the best idea for me to read those out loud, but I know a lot of people uh, will watch stuff on the side while they're, you know, working or doing other stuff. So I'll probably continue reading them out loud. That was really cool. So we lost someone. That's why we're here. Look at these candles. I've always wanted to make a game uh, about the person that just travels around to all these game worlds and keeps the candles lit. Don't steal that idea, EA. I know you're watching. Or Ubisoft. This is awesome! Now, there was a hole in the middle of that cauldron thing. I wonder if that's where the light's coming through? I'm not sure. A sword. Soldier sword damage. Weakened by the cold, this weapon has seen its share of battle. Looks like we can repair it. Deconstruct or drop. I believe that's what that means. Now, I wonder if we deconstruct. So it doesn't matter what in what state the weapon is. If we deconstruct it, we get the same thing. Are you sure you want to dismantle the selected items for crafting materials? So we probably want to do that when something's about to about to break. Oh, this is really good. I'm super impressed with this game so far. Does it swap through the weapons? No, you actually have to go and equip them. It doesn't tell you like how much damage something does. Although it does say, so we've got 
I assume that's four armor, like defense against attacks. Four cold protection and then five agility. And if we wear warmer clothing, we're probably going to have worse agility, right? Okay, I've learned my lesson. I don't think it's worth running around all of that. Even though I bet you there's a secret over there somewhere. I would like to check something out, though. This would be very cool if it works. What if I, like, put the sword in the flame? Because it said it was ruined by cold, so I was thinking, oh, maybe we can fix that by warming it up. But no, we actually have to repair it. One, one cord to repair it. So actually, if I disassemble this, Uh, I was looking at the crafting part. Shit! <laughs> ah, no! Mistakes were made, everybody. Oh, but we can upgrade these. So it doesn't affect our stamina, but increases our armor and cold resistance. So we have four, 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 five, and this says three, three, one, four, four, two, three, three, two. So I wonder what, I wonder how that's calculated, the overall amount. I'm going to hang on to my materials for now. I kind of feel like an idiot having disassembled <laughs> that other club. Is there a day-night cycle, or is it just based off of your progression, I wonder? Let's take a look at the world again. I bet it gets more cold, too, at night. We actually have to move, eh? Be and the reason why I'm saying that is because we actually have a limited amount of food and resources, right? So can't just lollygag about. Nice, it reaches that far. What happens if I disassemble? Got three of these, eh? Oh, it looks like the Conan sword. Oh, that's badass. I think I'm going to really enjoy this adventure. <laughs> you can only have one uh, weapon equipped at a time. Okay. We're still using... Okay, it's busted now. I probably should have disassembled it, huh? But if it's broken, okay. Can repair it. And we can okay, so we can only hold three of these, three of the grappling, the grappling hooks. So I might as well, might as well hang on to uh, the, that one until I need it. And then we have to equip new one. Okay. What's that sound. Oh, we know there's an idol in there.
So now we have two of three. And this is two stars. Soldier sword, weakened by the cold, this weapon has seen its share of battle. Not, the description is not changed. So stars uh, is how much damage it does, presumably. Looks like we're going to be picking up a lot of weapons. Uh, do I just fall down? This might have just been a side area. I thought this was going to lead us to the next... To the next... <laughs> the next area. <laughs> Oh, right. What am I talking about? I could just do this. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to? I was like, I could jump across there and I totally can because we can glide. Oh, that's cool. Oh! <laughs> you know what? At this point, I'm 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 understanding. I think it's safe to go ahead and use the clubs uh, to break stuff. Day six. The weapons we brought are. Bittle, are brittle in the cold. Some of us have taken to crafting crude weapons from wood as it is plentiful. However, these trees are odd. We cut them down for warmth, for weapons, and yet they grow back almost overnight. What tree can do that? The roots are strange. They grow deep, far deeper than the trees back home. I think they're connected together, perhaps to something much larger. We saw some tree roots in that... <clears throat> in that temple area. But maybe they're also connected to the witches. I guess we'll refer to them as the witches going forward. Axe. Use sharp weapons to cut trees! I dig it. Oh, and look! Can you hunt for food, too? Oh my god. That's easier. <laughs> cool. Raw meat. Uncooked, this will provide little benefit to health and hunger. Looks like we can cook it. Sorry, I love animals too. It's it's part of the game. I got some bread. Bread loaf, large loaf that will provide help to hunger and health stats. We use we use uh, cloth and rope to make uh, to make bread. Okay, that's good. Do I have to bring the idols to the main area to get my extra health? This is three of three now. Day three, the cold is brutal here, relentless. Thankfully, Leaf found some caves which give refuge from the elements. I have found cooking to be difficult out here unless you can find a proper campfire. I could drop the food next to smaller makeshift fires like Leaf does, but I find it always burns the meat and gets dirt on it. Okay. So you probably don't get as good of a cook if you just... Uh, OK, 
Okay, I saw that there's a... Oh, there we go. We get to choose stamina or health. Right now... Hmm. I could save it. Let's see what we need more as we go along. Wonder if those grow back. Interact. These little save points. Quick travel spots, probably. You can climb up those. I wonder if there's jumping attacks. Doesn't look like it. So we're trying to go this way. Let's do that. Since we are uh, limited on resources, I think we want to keep trying to move forward. I think it's a great idea to take that Shadow of the Colossus formula and then wrap it a uh, survival game around it. That's really cool. Because it makes the exploration that much more meaningful. We can glide down if we need to. We can climb up also, right? But have I learned my lesson? I don't see anything worth getting down here. I could like jump and slide down to that area though, eh, if I wanted to. Let's follow the path that, that's laid out though. I tend to try to find, like, <laughs> I always try to find the wrong way, uh, first, and, uh, game, game development's changed a lot since I was younger. The wrong way ends up being the right way now. <laughs> or the game is, like, designed around going down a, a critical path, but maybe this will be different. I don't know. Because I think we'll find ourselves above that, that spot in a little bit. It would be cool if we could mark spots on the map. Need, so we need logs, I guess. Red roll. I thought maybe I could... I don't want to use help. I'm going to avoid using it, even though it's probably useful. I thought maybe I could select an empty spot to craft something new. Oh, maybe I chop down this tree. Do we have the axe equipped? No! 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 No. No. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll try to chop more of it. Nice. 